Hello everyone. Welcome. Oh, I, I can never do an intro. Something has to go wrong. Welcome back to Spooky Sessions. Um, you might have noticed we have taken a a week break. Um, I guess it's kind of doing, yeah, we, doing it for we two months. <laughs> we meant to do that. But We're, we decided not to do that. Definitely, it was definitely. There's a lot of things going on in the week, so it good to have a break because we're doing each week and I have to edit it, uh, you know, edit out some stuff, put in some stuff, make some music. Not anymore, actually, put music anymore. Music. No, remember when I used to put music over the intro? Oh yeah, and then it didn't go up. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not doing that, but it it just takes a long time to do it. So we just took a break for that, but we're going to do it every week to Halloween, which reminds me, this is like the last... It's the last week till Halloween. Yeah, but we're probably going to do three or four, because we, we have definitely need to do top ten, definitely need to do candy. Oh, shoot. We're gonna. What are we going to do with candy? Are we going to go to Party City? Probably. And then for the things we don't need, then just to. We have we have dots, tootsie rolls. Yeah. Um. What's the other one that comes with that? Smarties? Oh yeah, tootsie pops. Oh. No, no, the tootsie. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it's the twenty second as of recording this, so this will go up on. Twenty ninth. 29. Oh wait, no. No. That doesn't make any sense. On the 20 on the 25th, the 6th, on the 26th lit. Ooh. Um on YouTube on the 27th though. Um so yeah, we have just watched all the classical movies, uh classical classic horror movies slash, all th- slasher basically. Yeah, all the slashers. Um we're going to do a top 5 because that's what that's what it is. Um we There's did barely any slashers. Instead of Halloween 19 whatever 80 or whatever uh, we put in ha- night- Halloween 2018 because it's a much, much better movie. I-, I am sorry, are you avid slasher movies but uh, fans, but the new one is w- <laughs> much better. Um, and then we'll also get to some other overrated slasher movies in a second. But let's start. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's go for my number five of top ten classic slasher horror movies is friday the 13th <laughs> yeah it's <was> pretty obvious <laughs> the first one um i didn't actually watch any reviews i've never even heard anybody's idea on what this movie is or how it's even overrated like how it actually is but apparently it's held up this great but this thing just i want the one word i would say is just boring <laughs> <laughs> like when actually when there the only times I was like intrigued in the movie was when people were dying because I had I had no attachment to these characters they're just you don't even see Jason <laughs> you don't you only see how did the I don't how did he when did he become iconic I guess in the second one I'll watch the next ones wherever they are I'll try to find them same with Halloween like and stuff like 12 or something and right um, Nightmare on Elm Street I just want to s- actually see Jason in action but it's it's so anticlimactic too um and the, the, the it's it's short but it could have been way shorter but there was just these scenes that were dragged on for 5 minutes longer than they should have been like when the last girl was like trying to put a door like put put stuff in front of the door for like six minutes and then ended up going out that same door because jason came in through the window or something and then that wasn't even jason and then she, yeah or yeah and then she and she, and she like was like a 10 minute scene of her making tea or like coffee or something <laughs> yeah and it uh, it's She's def- just going back and forth from the closet, just adding stuff in. This wouldn't even be on my top ten of horror movies or Halloween movies at all. This wouldn't be in. This would be the last of any horror movie at all. But Jason is so cool though, with the chainsaw and the ski mask. I just, yeah. just this movie chainsaw. is terrible. Chainsaw. Yeah, doesn't he have a chainsaw in the movies? No, that's um. Well, maybe, maybe. He usually has like an axe or a poker. That's that's um Leatherface. Hmm. Yeah. But my number five is also Friday the 13th. 
Um, <laughs> it was just, I don't know how it got so overhyped. Maybe the rest are better, but it really, it was just, it was like a low budget, just like the original Halloween, it was so low budget. Maybe it wasn't low budget, it may have just felt like that, but it was, it just, it wasn't, it's, it, it, it for, for the movies that other people were making before and at its time, it really doesn't, it's not as good as them, as it could have been, yeah. actually. I I gave it a 2 out of 10 on my, uh... Yeah, me too. I basically, we'll, we'll say this at the end, but all of the movies that we have been doing, Kyle's been doing a Snapchat thing, and then I've been doing a one second per day. There's this cool app that I used last year and I'm doing one second each movie and I'm just recording and I'm also writing down my um rankings of all of them so at the at the one of the last spooky sessions we'll review all those. Yeah, that's the problem because yeah, Snapchat only holds a story for twenty four hours. Mm. <laughs> I right. can probably remember what I brought I What is your number four? Um number four is Nightmare on Elm Street. Mm-hmm. I almost said Nightmare Before Christmas. Because it's a solid movie. It's actually pretty scary. Most most of the time I was like bored or anything. Um I already watched Freddy vs. Jason so I kinda I wasn't surprised with all the like scares and stuff and like his lore. But um but it's definitely it's definitely one of the best slashers out there. He wasn't it wasn't as funny as he was in Freddy vs. Jason, because I guess they were taking this one more seriously, but it definitely was scarier and kind of, fe- it felt like a Goosebumps episode. Yeah, that's what my number four is. It felt like a, it's like Say Cheese and Die, or like, um, that or like that. Dream episode. Yeah, it's, and it kind of really, kind of really is confusing. Uh, the end. They don't really. And apparently, there's alternate oh, endings yeah. too. I didn't watch them, but there are. Um, but it's kind of, it's kind of like Inception. It's kind of hurts your brain to try to think. Um, and then, uh, yeah, the 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 the, 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 the like you know the non CGI stuff, <laughs> the non CGI. Pros- what what is that name? Is it Prosthet- prosthetics? Yeah, prosthetics. Um, they, uh... Well, prosthetics are, like, is, like, makeup and yeah, stuff. Yeah, they're not bad. They're not as bad as... Friday the 13th didn't even have any what you got to give props to, but it was 1980. Um, but it's, um, they did pretty good on the makeup and, you know, uh, knives and stuff. But, yeah, I, it's, it's just, like, uh, it's not bad, but it's also not good. So, I, I think I rated that, like, a... Four or a five? I think it was a five out of ten. We it's probably have the same number three, which is six for me out of it's 10. Halloween mm. 2018 version. That's not um, my number three though. Well, the two ones that I have at the start, I mean at the top. We definitely ah. have the same number one though. Um, probably not. I don't know. Maybe. Um. But oh, probably yeah. not. <laughs> Halloween 2018 is definitely one of the best modern horror movies there have been. It was so good when it first came out, but now I think I've seen it too much. It kind of watered it down in like terms of how scary it is. But um, Blumhouse, I'm actually surprised at how good this they they that they took part in the Universal production studio the they were with universal studios and um they actually made a really good jason because i mean the rob zombie was pretty good i think it was way too um they just put way too much into the like the the feel and like the tone and it, it just wasn't really completing to watch but this one was like it felt like a solid horror movie and you actually got enough of michael yeah. to um to like satisfy your needs. <laughs> okay, you talk bad about Blumhouse, but they have made the best horror movies. Let me let me and let me the worst. let me say some Dude, Invisible Blumhouse. Invisible Man, ha- the new Halloween 2018, Us, Truth or Dare, um, The First Purge, Happy Truth Death Day, Happy Death Day Two, 
um, Insidious, Insidious 2, and Insidious 3, and Insidious 4. Uh, I don't think they did Conjuring. They did Split, The Purge, yeah, they did Conjuring Sinister. Too. They did Conjuring? Yeah. That's, that's what, or at least, that's what I thought. Yeah, they did. Well, I think it's just James Wan. I don't see it. I thought he's with Blumhouse. He's usually... It's Jason Blum. Um... No, oh, here's the list. Well, they're kind of similar. They're usually... He, they did the Paranormal Activities. Oh, my God. The Purges. A Ouija board. Or just a Ouija. Unfriended. Ayo. Hey. All the Insidious. Sinisters. Also well, known as one of the best. Hush, obviously. Okay. All Split. Right. Get out. Us. They They just... They're just amazing. They have yeah, to... Not Conjuring. That was a... That was a... You can't James say Wan. Truth or Dare is one of the... I haven't seen it yet. I've seen the off-brand one. <laughs> Anyways, my number f uh, uh, three is uh, Psycho. Um, oh, you... <laughs> it's... Uh, this is more of a psychological... The There's only two deaths in this movie. And it's the detective and it's the girl. And um, technically the mom. Technically. Well, it, they don't show it. In a um, long time. Uh, <laughs> but, like, it keeps its pace so well. It, I like how they, um, I don't know, I haven't, is it, is it on the thing? Is it on the, is yeah, it on like the last ones? It's like number 27. Um, and then, yeah, it's, it's, a. Uh, it's, I don't know what I rate it. I'll probably rate it like a 7 out of 10, but it's... <sighs> It's more psychological than slashers. So that's why it's ah. kind of lower on this. Um, but uh, I don't. So the past like two years watching it, I've fallen asleep and then woken up at the <laughs> attacking scenes. Just like from when she's evading the cop and then waking up at like the shower or like the after or like yeah, I the remember that you always fall asleep. <laughs> it's. I don't know. It's just so. It's. It's not boring. It's just nothing happens. The start, the start is kind of like that, but I'll, I'll talk yeah. about that whenever. Um, yeah, that's my number three. I think I know. I think we do have the f num best number one, unless you just like totally ripped off well, one of those movies I made. Okay. Anyways, number two. Hold on. I need to go look. Uh, number two is Psycho, so I'm going to continue. Um, yeah, the, the star of it is kind of like slow. That first scene is just out of, no it, not out of nowhere, but it, it really doesn't correspond with any of the rest of the movie. And start is kind of like, uh, but then once they he she actually gets on the road, um, I think it's just the dialogue and the, the sh uh, cinematography. It's just really, it's not captivating. But it's it's um it has a nice flow to it where it's it's kind of always interesting. Like whenever she's buying a new car and that th that police like it does have a really good factor of suspense in almost every scene. Yeah. Um, especially with the freaking detective and Norman, like that scene is great. That man. I wonder if he's still acting, but um, like fifty years later, but. But basically, it's just there's literally only two deaths in it, so it's not scary, but it's a good, perf it's a perfectly done mystery thriller kind of thing. It's a good twist. I mean, I wouldn't think anybody could ever figure that out before the twist happened, but it's a pretty good twist. Yeah. Um. My number two is uh is Halloween 2018, and we've already really talked about it but um it's just a better version of the old one even though it's like a sequel but um the acting <laughs> bro that kid bro <laughs> best actor was the, the the kid that the girl was babysitting but um uh just the music of the you know they actually showed people dying in this which was great um unlike some movies Friday the 13th. Um, it's, 
yeah, it's way better than the <laughs> than the old one, and it's definitely number two. I think I I rate it just rate it like seven out of ten, um, because the the pacing is very well. I didn't actually get bored, which is which is very easy to do when you're making a movie. Uh, before you go on to number one, I will list off uh, James Wan movies, and you won't be surprised. Oh man, Conjuring, all the Conjurings, Insidious, all the Insidious, which I guess them and Blumhouse did Saw. Dead Silence, Annabelle, The Nun. He did Saw? Yeah. All the Annabelles, Lights Out, uh, La Llorona, Aquaman, <laughs> uh, Jigsaw. That's crazy. Yeah, all the I Saws. I didn't know he did La Llorona. Yeah. He's <laughs> served pretty good, bro. Um, But I good think role. we have number one unless we switched up somehow. Yeah, we definitely have the same number one. Unos, dos, tres, scream. Scream. Let's Go. The best movie. Matthew freaking Lillard. <laughs> That's the only way I put it up there is because of Matthew Lillard. <laughs> um, freaking movie. I like it because it's kind of self-conscious too. It's like, oh my gosh, it's terrifying, bro. Um, And it has a twist. It's not just a guy going around killing people. It's Even though it is. um, There's an actual a twist. Um, the pacing is ooh, amazing because it's like you can't really predict. It's not just people dying. It's a it's a story. It's and you, it's really funny too. Yeah, the, the uh, I think we can credit that to Matthew I Lillard. Th- yeah, I think it's more of a comedy than a than a actual slasher horror movie. But it works so well as a horror movie. I don't want to watch any of the sequels because that one's so perfect. I don't want to like drag it out. Yeah. Um. But uh, I think I gave it an eight out of ten. I think, which would be yeah, me too. One of the highest. I gave it a nine. Let's go. I think that's the highest one I've given. Oh, besides Insidious. Let's yeah, I gave. And The Shining. Three. Oh, I think I give. I gave most of the movies seven. So mo- most of them yeah. are a seven. Um. But Halloween and Scream are the big boys. But they, we're getting into the best movies. So all of these, yeah. all of the next couple, the next week is going to be like 10 out of 10s. They show deaths like they actually, I don't think there was any CGI. I think it was all actual. Um, But they did it very well. What the heck? Oh, that's, oh, okay. Um... But I watched the Scream TV series and it's the similarities between them. I was, <laughs> it was weird because I kind of, I didn't really get spoiled, but I, it, it, um, it had such a similarity between the movie and the TV series that I was like, hold up, I swear I'm watching the Monica the is in it too. Mo- Courtney Cox, yes. Cat. Always makes it great, which is her character is really annoying in this, which is probably good because <laughs> they did a good job. <laughs> It got a 78 tomato meter and 79 audience score. Mm. 78. 78 of people who reviewed it liked it. Yo, wait. Let me see the difference between 2018 Halloween and... Okay, 2018 got 79%. <clears throat> let's see what the freaking 1978. Let's see. Oh, if they freak... Oh, I know... The 96! Are y'all... <laughs> Are you kidding me? Let's see Friday the 13th, bro. 96. <laughs> Wait, was it? That's a, that's a joke. 19. Which one is How... that? Maybe it's just the boomers like that that watched it at the time cuz I could I could see how it's scary at the time, but like in the grand spectrum of movies back then, it's just like which what, what what year is it? Seventy eight. There's a bunch of parts. I don't see. I think it's seventy eight. Nineteen seventy eight. It's not coming up on tomato meter. Nineteen eighty. Was it really nineteen eighty? I think The Shining was nineteen eighty. It says thirteenth. 1980. Maybe they just removed it. Yeah, it's it. 1980. But oh, you're you're talking about Friday the 13th. Oh, here it is. Now it came up. 
Sixty-four percent. Are y'all dumb? Okay. <laughs> Still, that That's doesn't even deserve sixty-four. That's a twenty-one. Ninety. <sighs> no. I mean, it, uh, it just means that sixty, like six out of ten people liked it. It's just nostalgic boomers that are getting memories back to their high school years <laughs> okay when they cried whenever there's a jump scare um well yeah that's the top five <laughs> um <laughs> classic horror movies Let's go on a little rant there. <laughs> um this one's a, a little bit shorter but next week i think we'll post three what's next wednesday Next Monday is the 28th. 28th? Yeah. 28th. So we'll we'll probably we'll we'll probably I don't do know, one. we don't have to do it on Wednesday. We could do one one each day or we'll record like three of them at the same time. I um, think we should do one the 28th, the 30th and then the morning 31st. Yeah, I feel like yeah. Yeah, yeah. We I can't do freaking So look out to- for Top ten, probably the, f- <sighs> probably it should go uh, top ten Halloween candy, um first, and then top ten. Were we gonna do memories or moments? Um, yeah, it would it would probably be just a long episode of just like, yeah, <laughs> top ten Halloween moments, <laughs> just like um, yeah, basically memories. I and guess. then top ten Halloween movies. Now that we had seen all this new stuff and trashy stuff and amazing stuff dang um so i'll see you next week it's a halloween so close yeah. it's so close hasta luego mi amigos bye